Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap here at Qualcomm's booth at MWC and obviously this whole show this year is all about 5G. But there's big questions over what 5G really means, what it actually is fundamentally, what kind of differences that will make to you and I in our daily lives and if it's really worth getting excited about. 5G is the next generation of mobile tech and it promises to be faster, more efficient, lower latency and more reliable, especially in the busiest areas. That all sounds great, but what does it really mean for me and you? Well, to find out more, I went straight to the source and asked Qualcomm, who, who make the Snapdragon processors and 5G modems that will power the vast majority of phones this year, why 5G is a big deal. Everyone always asks the questions. When there's a transition to new technology, everyone says, well, what are people going to use it for? But what people don't realize is that when you look at, at 4G, for example, we now have a whole new generation of companies like Uber, like Deliveroo, that are offering services that weren't previously possible on the previous technology. So what 5G will do will bring new opportunities and new companies to the fore that are embracing the capabilities of the new technology. Speaking on a panel at the conference, Marco Lara from the EE network here in the UK had the same view. We saw this transition from 3G to 4G. You know, that, that created the Ubers of this world, the explosion of Facebook and Instagram, the creation of Netflix from being a DVD rental company to what it is today. Uh, that was fueled by faster, better, mobile networks. What are these applications of the future? And that's going to be the, the exciting thing. New businesses created, new applications and services created. So the transition from 3G to 4G created whole new industries, apps and services. And actually the most exciting thing about 5G is, well, what we actually don't know yet, the new apps that haven't been created. That's looking ahead though. What benefits will 5G actually have this year? Netflix and YouTube and gaming, like why is 5G actually gonna be important? First of all, it'll make things a lot faster. You'll be able to download things more quickly, but that's not only that's not the only thing that'll be that it'll be doing. So it's gonna have much better uh, latency, which means that your phone will communicate more quickly with the network, which will mean things like multiplayer gaming isn't a juddery experience, it will be reliable. Hiding behind the glass and plastic shell at Qualcomm's booth is a 5G enabled OnePlus device. And they're actually playing Ace Combat on this thing with an Xbox controller via the cloud. The phone is just the hub essentially with all the processing and graphics done in the cloud and then streamed to the phone. And with 5G's ultra low latency, as low as one millisecond, there's no perceivable lag. And with the game running in the cloud, which basically means there's a server farm somewhere with high-end computers that's doing all that computational stuff, and then the output is then streamed to your device, it'll use hardly any of your battery life and it doesn't take up any storage space. Pete Lau, founder of OnePlus and speaking through an interpreter, thinks that 5G will mean that we actually will no longer look at phone specs in the same way. People now are concerned with the size of storage on their device for the sake of storing more photos, but as cloud functionality and uh, cloud accessibility and speed increases, so that will allow people to no longer focus on whether the phone is 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of storage. And it will uh, enable a total change in your um, photography experience on the device. Also, there are things called mission critical services, which means that the reliability of the network is much more predictable. Ultimately, you'll be able to do autonomous driving through 5G, which isn't currently going to be possible on 3G or 4G. I guess people see how often their mobile signal drops out. If your car is being driven by that, isn't that going to be a danger and a concern? That's why 5G has been designed with mission critical services at the forefront of the technology. It's one of the foundational pillars that it's been built on. So it'll be a lot more reliable. So when you're in a mission critical environment, like a car that's trying to understand where it is on the road in relation to other cars, people and things, it, can, it has the network to back that up. So a 5G connection will also be much more reliable than 4G. And while that's obviously great news for when we're all sitting in the back of our fancy autonomous cars in the future, the higher capacity and bandwidth of 5G will actually have a big impact straight away. For example, where 4G could work with up to 10,000 connected devices in a square kilometer, 5G will work with up to 1 million. So even if you're at a busy trade show like this, or maybe you're waiting for your flight at the airport, and you find that your internet is mega slow, that's a bandwidth and capacity issue, and 5G will fix this. People will be getting 5G. This summer, 5G will be coming to the UK and it'll be coming to the rest of Europe. And work, we're doing work with companies like OnePlus to bring devices to market so that in the next few months, there will be new handsets that will be able to embrace the capabilities of 5G. 
There's definitely an exciting buzz at this year's MWC. It seems like 2019 is finally the year that we're going to see some proper 5G phones. And it's, they are, it's true, they're coming out. Then it's down to infrastructure. In the UK, we've got companies like EE providing the actual uh, data, the mobile network themselves. We've got Qualcomm providing the chips and the modem in the handsets. And then manufacturers like OnePlus providing the phones. So it does take a lot of work, a lot of different companies coming together to provide that 5G connectivity. But make sure you do stay tuned and hit that subscribe button as I'll actually be working with OnePlus on a couple of more videos over the next month or two, going into a bit more detail what 5G is in terms of how it actually works underneath all the technical stuff, which is, well, to some people very boring, but to me as a bit of a nerd, actually really, really interesting. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.